Hey, good morning. Welcome to Masterpiece in Progress. This week, we're going to work on birds on the wire. These are three lovebirds that I took a picture of in my backyard, and I decided to paint them. Today, you are going to need some um, titanium white. As always, I'm using Deco Art Americana paints. So a snow white, titanium white. We're going to have Payne's Gray as our dark color. Our birds are going to be made with three greens and some corals. So there's quite a bit of color in here. So I have my festive green. I have sour apple and green tea. Now here's what you're looking for. You're looking for a, a dark mid-tone and a light in your greens. Background. I have a couple of different blues in the background. I have, uh, it's underpainted with Victorian blue and then the highlights are Calypso blue. So again, just a couple different um, blues. And then uh, also the bird has coral blush up in here, some cad yellow. And then we have pops of desert turquoise or some type of turquoise like right down here in the birds just in a couple different places. You'll need some brushes. I have my half inch uh, royal, uh, my number four, my zero, and my number eight. You're going to need water of course, napkins, and this is painted on 11 by 14 canvas. You also have um, You'll have a picture in the download packet, so you'll have a picture here that you can follow. In addition, um, this is not what you're going to use to trace, but you'll also have this picture. And then you'll have three individual bird pictures, which I do talk about this. And uh, you'll need some tracing paper and some tape. And I think you'll be all set. Let's talk about what you're getting in your packet. So one of the things that I included, this is a photograph that I took of these birds out my um, backyard. So you're getting a copy of the photograph and actually there were four birds on a wire, but I cropped it down to three um, so that I could fit it on the canvas. And you can see they're pretty spaced apart. Um, but when I painted these, I put them a little bit closer together so that I could get them on the canvas. Um, so you're going to get a picture of them, all three on the canvas here, or on the piece of paper. And then you're going to get individual pieces. So there'll be bird one, bird two, and bird three. And you'll just print those out, hopefully uh, make sure it's just 100% scaling, and it should uh, be able to fit uh, really well on your canvas. Then you may have to do a little cutting. I trimmed these up a little bit, but then you're going to put them wherever you want on your canvas. Now, again, this is an 11 by 14 canvas and be sure to tape them down. And then I took a piece of scotch tape in here and I taped so they didn't move around. And then we'll, I'll just slip my um, graphic transfer paper in here and the big thing is I want to make sure that the shiny side is down as always and trace each bird on and then you'll make sure that you can uh, get everything there and you'll be good to go. Okay we are now ready to get started. I have my birds on here. Um, I got my paint. I'm starting with um, the Victorian Blue by Deco Arch right here, Calypso Blue, and then I have my Titanium White. Now, just taking a look at this, you want a little bit of darker blue and a lighter blue. So uh, whatever you have at home to make a nice sky. I'm also going to use my half inch because I don't want to get my sky into my birds too much. Um, so I'm going to work with a little bit smaller brush. So I'm going to go into my Victorian blue, which is the darker blue, and then I'm going to just start to put in my sky. Now remember, you wet your brush first. This is going to look a little bit dark 
I do have quite a bit of water in my brush and that will allow that to lighten up. Now, I don't want it to look like I've painted around these brushes or these birds too much. So when I get in here, I'm just going, you know, I did cross my line, but that's okay. I just don't want it to look like it's stuck on. Now I'm going to just going to come in there and blend some of the Calypso blue as we go along. Wetting my brush. Remember, whenever I go and wet my brush, I dab it off on my napkin. Going back into my darker blue. That has quite a bit of water. Dab some of that off. And we want to just go around very carefully around these birds. Now, if we get some paint in there, it's not the end of the world. Because guess what we'll do? We'll just add some white to get rid of that. And I really debated, okay, is it easier? Sometimes I think when I'm painting out in public, it's just easier to cover the whole canvas. And I originally painted this to teach at a class. But I quickly learned that this is not an easy painting, and we would have been there till midnight. So I was going to take it down to one bird, um, but we just never got that far. Even one bird would have been a little bit of a challenge. Now I am painting on the 11 by 17 canvas. I am going to do my sides. So be sure to do those. And uh, I'm going to just come down here for a little bit. I think you can see that. And I am going to pick up a little bit of the white. And that will lighten some of that up a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful color. Now I want this as smooth as possible. So when I took this picture, there was not one cloud in the sky, as you can see. Um, in the original picture, there is a wire. I have a lot of wires in my backyard for whatever reason. It is going to be a little bit of a challenge down here in around the feathers. So I am going to pick up my zero and kind of come in here and try to go around some of the feathers here. This is the hardest part. Well, not the birds are. Birds are going to be fun. You're going to enjoy those. But I think painting this background around the birds is quite challenging. And if you paint into your feathers, it's all going to be okay. Because the feathers will be very easy to put back in there. Wiping out my brush a little bit with some of that paint. I don't want it to really look like it stops, so I am going to go into my birds a little bit. Need to be conscious around this beak and pick up a little bit of white in there, right in there. And I have another beak over here. While I have my little brush, I'm just going to paint underneath there. And 
and let's see, there's going to be another place right down in here. So continue painting your background. Picking up my smaller brush to kind of get in close under the talons there. I think that's what they're called. Where I live, we have, uh, we feed these birds on Sundays. All of their food is gone by Monday. And we refill it for them on the following Sunday. But we have a lot of these in our yard. We have a lot of quail. And I enjoy watching all of these different birds. That's looking a little rough down there, but we'll smooth that out. Pick up a little water, dab, 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 so I don't get too much. It's amazing how that water just spreads that paint so nice and smooth. And that's really what we want in this background, that to be nice and smooth. All right, on my plate, I have pretty much the rest of the paints. Um, <clears throat> I have my festive green. I have my sour apple green tea. So these are going to be the greens and the bird. I have my white, this uh, coral blush, and my Payne's gray. And I guess the only thing I'm missing is a little yellow for the beaks. So let me get that out. And I got my yellow. Don't need a whole lot. Now I am going to start with my small brush. I have cleaned it. And this is going to be bird number one, bird number two, and bird number three. We're going to start with bird number two. First thing that I'm going to do with my small brush is I'm going to go along my pattern here and clean up some of those lines in here. So if I've crossed over into my bird, the best I can, I'm just going to go through and add my white. Um, and just clean up this area down here just a little bit. Smooth out those edges. So when I do put my color on there, I'll know exactly where to go. And you can see that we're, you know, as we clean up those edges with the white, it looks really, it's going to look good. And just starting with this first bird. Hopefully you can still see your lines in there. Probably should have made them a little darker. See, he's looking better already. So, if you look at the picture, right up above his beak is a little white. And even though the canvas is white, I 
oops, put my hand right in the wet paint. I am going to come right up in here and put that little bit of white up in there. I'm also going to put some white in the eyes here on each side. Can't really see this whole eye over here, but all right. Now I'm going to pick up this blush. Still using my zero, and I did not clean my brush. Going right up here in the top, and I'm going to start to just lay this blush in there. Go around his eyes. Now this is going to be the first layer. We'll come back and do another layer. I am sure. Going back, just grabbing some more blush, and I picked up a tiny, tiny bit of yellow and popped that in there as well. I'm going to go right up around the beak. Oops, wrong color. Going with the coral. Blush. With this little brush, I'm just scrubbing back and forth there. I'm going to wipe off my brush a little bit. I am going to go into straight yellow. This is that cad yellow hue or medium. And I'm going to come right in here and work on his beak. Now, I can, I really do like going back and looking at the reference photo. right up into this white. Wiped my brush off. And I'm going to pick up some of that coral and just plop another layer on top there. And I'm going to come down just a little bit more in to that yellow right on top of that white. Now, I will go back and whiten that up, but I like to come right down there. And I will lay some white up there. But I'm going to come right along here at the top of this beak, right in there where that yellow is, and just lay that little bit of white there. this is going to start to fade out. Now this white area should be dry N and I think I came out away from my bird a little bit there so I will have to come back and clean that up. I'm going to go into this Payne's Gray still with my zero, pick up a tiny tiny bit, really tiny, 
is I want to go ahead and pop his eyes in here so that it'll be nice and dry. And look at him. He's already coming to life there a little bit. Now, if you look here, there is a little shadow right in here, and we're going to use some Payne's Gray right down the side there. Payne's Gray is pretty strong, so I will pick up a little bit and kind of wipe that off a little bit. And we're going to come right over here, and we're going to plop some of that in, wipe my brush, because I don't want too much of this, pick up the coral, and then blend that in. Now if I get too much, which I probably just did, we can go back in and tone that down. And I'm going to pick up some of that coral and just tone this down by laying some more coral in there. It's going to brighten up there. Picking up some white because I don't want him to be too dark. All right. I'm just going to take this and go right around here. don't want a really harsh line there. So let's see if we can thin this out just a little bit. Picked up some water on my brush and just blended that out. There we go. Much better. I'm going to bring this side down just a little bit more in here. Now we're going to start to pick up the greens. I'm going to start with the festive green. That's the darker green. I'm still using my zero for this. And I'm just going to come in here and start to lay this paint in. And notice how I'm just scrubbing back and forth. Making sure I stay with my shape here. It's okay to go up into that area. Let that blend together. And then if I get too high, which I just did, I'm going to bring this back down a little bit and blend this all together. Whoops, pull some of that paint off. I went up too high. He got a little muddy in there, but we'll fix that. Just going to bring that all the way down. Just going to let those colors kind of blend together in there. Again, I'm just using that green. A couple things I want to do before we get too far into this. I want to pick up that Payne's Gray and I want to show you this in the wing just so I don't use it. Right underneath here, we're going to have some dark under each of the wings up here on his shoulder. I'll put that a little bit later, but I want to get this dark in here under his wings. 
So I'm going to come right along here and put that dark in. And his feather down here gets pretty dark as well. And that feather extends. So I want to get that in there. Same way right there. All right, picking up my green again and going back to town. Now, I will come in here and I will pick up the, which one is this, sour apple? Yes, the sour apple, which is this bright green one. I gotta fix this up in here, there we go. I'm just gonna lay some of that sour apple up in here, wipe out my brush, and then just begin to lay that on top of here. Gives it a nice pop. I got way too high up in here. So I'm just taking water on my brush and wiping this out. And that's all I'm doing. I got way too high with the green. I can even pick up my napkin a little bit and wipe some of this off. So I just don't like. There we go. Yeah, I got too, too much up in there. This pink needs to come down a little bit more, this blush. So that's how you make that's how you correct your mistakes, right? We just take a little water and wash it out of there. I'm just gonna come back in and I just wanna lay some more of this on there. I may pick up some white with that just so that it blends in here a little bit. Because if you look at the picture. It comes down really just above the shoulder and I was way too high. So we'll fix it. We get a little darker in here again. Tiny, tiny bit of yellow. Tiny bit of yellow. And just drop that in there. Don't want to get a lot of yellow in there. Wipe my brush off and then just work with that. All right. There he is. There he is. All right, let's try this again. Green. We're just going to let this now begin to blend in there. I'm going to switch to my number eight, or I'll be here all day. And just begin to work on this breast in here.
Now, right in here is a leg. I just wanted to mark that area there. And we're going to go all the way down right up against the wire. Now right along this wing here, notice how I got a little bit of paint on my brush. And I want to come down here and think about these feathers just a little bit. I think it's more prominent on this one. Yep. So right along here, we're just going to go right up the side here. dip into my water, dip it off, and I'm now going to come in here and blend this Payne's Gray a little bit. some sour apple and just lay that right on top. Get right up into the bird. Put his neck there. Picking up some festive green coming all the way down on this wing. This line here is not, just taking a Q-tip, this is another way that you can come in and take paint off. I've got just a little Q-tip, but this line in here is just a little bit too harsh, that dark line, and I think it's going to be too dark over here too, although there's quite a bit of dark under there. I'm just going to lift some of that off, dip it in in water. And just going to soften that up a little bit. There we go. Now, you only do this if you messed up. But that's how you can fix that. All right. Going to go back in here, just lay some more green in here. And I want to come in here with a uh, little bit of the green tea and pop that in there too. We want some lights and darks in there. Noticing how I'm just putting that in there. Darker green under that wing. Going to reinforce some more darker green in here. And then I'm just going to pop some sour apple. Right in there. I want to make sure this edge over here is very, very clean. And what I mean by that, oops, clean my brush there, that it is flat.
flush with the sky. That edge. All right. I've switched back to my zero. I'm going to pick up some Payne's Gray. I'm going to wipe a little bit of it out because apparently I'm getting a, get a little heavy handed. This is really pretty dark in here, but I want it to be very, uh, I don't want a harsh line, I just want it to be dark. Very soft. Soften that up in here. And this tail feather he down here, below the wire, if you look, pretty dark. And I'm just using the paint that's already there to darken this. Going back into water, again, just using that paint. That's already there. Same thing right in here. This is pretty dark in there picked up just a little bit of paint and using whatever paint is on my brush. Go into the water. And softening that up a little bit. Now, right under this wing, I'm going to get a little bit of the desert turquoise or you can use the turquoise that we used last week or any really kind of pop of blue and we're going to pick up on the zero and he has a little hint of this blue color right in there not a lot so don't go crazy with it and if you do just pick up some green and bring it back down all right Now, I am just going to go along. I'm going to pick up some sour apple. I'm going to lay some sour apple in here. And I'm just going to give him just pops of color in his feathers. On his tummy. I'm going to pick up some of the green tea. I'm just going to lay that in here. going to pick up a little of the Payne's Gray and wipe some of that off because you guys know I pick up way too much sometimes, get carried away. Now what I want to do is I'm going to darken right here next to the wire this area because this is his leg in here. And I'm just going to darken underneath there and right in here. All right. See, I didn't have hardly any paint on there. And then I'm just going to, it's going to be a shadow there. And we're going to come in here and we're going to lay some color right on top of there. Right on top. Right on top of there. Just kind of round that out. Put a little bit of blush right in there. Just a tiny bit of blush right on the top. And wherever you see that you think it needs to have some darks, have some lights, it's entirely up to you. Getting 
wants to pop just a little bit more in here. He has in this picture, now he's not going to be exactly like what's in the picture, but if you look, he does have a pop of white right here. He's got some white over here. And it looks like he has some white out here. I'm going to go down. I'm going to pick up the best of green. And I am going to pick up a tiny bit of, on the same dirty brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the Payne's Gray. This is all going to be very dark down in here. You can see that's quite dark. Again, that's a little best of green, which is your darkest green, and a tiny, tiny bit of the paint's gray. Got plenty of paint on there, and then I'm just going to work with what I just laid on there. Now I'm going along and I want to make sure I get a nice crisp lines down there. Going with a straight green, that best of green. And now I'm starting at the very end of his tail and just starting to pull up here into that dark green. And if I look, I see just a little bit of peach down there, about right there. Wipe off my brush, just let that kind of blend in. I don't want it to be too bright. There is a tiny speck of white down there. the white on there and just let it blend in and at the very very bottom looks like he might have some turquoise in there Maybe just a touch more of this coral in there. And I may just bring some of that sour apple and blend this in. These birds really, now, I picked up a little sour apple, go right on top of that dark and bring it down. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of that blue, and again, I'm just going to introduce some more blue in there because I think I kind of wiped it out. So right at the top, we need to add that white back in. I'm going to stay with this zero. Kind of bright right there. And then right down the middle is this 
bright white right there. Now I'm going to pick up the yellow and a little bit of the coral blush, mix that together until I get this yellowish color. And I'm going to go back over his nose just a little bit. Need a little bit more yellow in that. I just wanted to dull it down a little bit. Just need it a little bit bright there. Okay. And it looks like I missed a little bit of. go right around there, right there. I am on my same dirty brush, tiny bit of this Payne's Gray. I'm going to pick a place on my plate. I want to pick up some of the blush and mix that together. Actually, I'm going to pull some more blush over here. Don't want a whole. I, I just want to darken it a little bit. That's better. I want to come right underneath. If you look here, there is some shadow right underneath here, and I don't want to get too crazy with it. All right, there's my darker color. And I just want to go right up against there with that. I'll bring that down just a little bit. Wiping out my brush. Just on my napkin. Going to go back into the coral. And again, I'm just going to lay another layer here just to let him pop a little bit more. I may pick up a little bit of yellow on my zero, lay that in here, and just blend those colors together. I want him to be really bright, probably brighter than they really are in real life, but I love them. They're so cute. Going to clean up around his eye here. And I am going to really have to. this eye just a bit. And when I mean by that, I just, there we go. In the picture, the eye is a little bit more off to the side, but that's all right. Now the talons, his feet. Let's see, I'm going to pick up a little bit of Payne's gray and white. And we're going to just paint these in. Just going to stick with the first layer, it's just going to be the Payne's gray and white. And we'll come back and 
do some more things with them. But look at them painted. Just wet my brush just a little bit, just to make that paint move a little bit better. I may come back and do some more with him, but I think he's good for now. Just like I did in bird number two, I'm going to go right along the sides here and clean uh, bird number one up. Again, I think I kind of messed up right there. While I'm here, I'm going to lay some paint on that eye. And the same thing. do this all the way down to the very end. Now this is where, I don't know what I did when I put that on, but what I'm going to do is just come over here and make my own feathers here. So I don't really see what I did. Just going to make that feather a little bit bigger there. There we go. Clean up this other side. I just made that head a little bit bigger. Not intentionally, but We'll come right down the side there. Do you want to shape that beak just a little bit? I think he's probably the biggest of the birds. And while we're playing in the white, let's go ahead and do this eye over here. Now this guy is not too bad. And again, all I'm doing here is underpainting in the white, cleaning up the edges. I may have to move this. Here needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Now, you may not have to do this. But if you do, it's okay. Why 
do you think? I think I'm going to go ahead and paint the talons on both of these. Again, it's the first, I've got white on my brush, I've got the little brush. It is Payne's gray and white. Payne's gray and white. It's really interesting if you look at the picture, the way this guy's standing down here, it's like he's, well, he's definitely standing different than the other two. So his legs are a little bit weird looking. Gonna clean well and then just wipe out your brush and these should be dry. So I'm gonna take a spot of the this is called Payne's Gray and I'm gonna put his eyeball in. As round as you can. And wiping out the brush, I'm going to put just a speck of a secondary highlight in this guy's eyes here and here. Oh, and you know what I forgot on him? Uh, the two little nostril things right up here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You really can't see it very well with the other two, but right here, the side of this, you've got a dark spot right in here, and then you've got the little nostril right there. might come back and work on him a little bit more, but we're going to start now. This guy, you can see he has a little bit more green in here. He's got some shadows over here. So let's go ahead. We're going to start with our peach. And we're just going to start at the top here. We will come back in and we'll put some darks in there. And I'm sticking with my one right now. Make sure I get right up against that blue. It'll give me some fresh coral blush. white ring right around there. It's a little bit lighter in here. I'm going to pick up some white with the same dirty brush. Wiping that out. Picking up some fresh coral. And 
I just have this little back and forth action I'm doing. I am going to pick up a tiny speck of the Payne's Gray and I'm going to pick up with it the, I think we're going to go a sour apple this time. So I have a little bit of green back in here and we're going to just shadow that in. So sour apple, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of Payne's Gray. And when I say tiny, I really do. i am got the zero brush, so it's pretty tiny. But even that can be a lot. I'm just making this kind of dirty back in here. But I want some green in here. The very top. go into this lighter green tea and just pull that up in there just a little bit. I don't want a harsh line but he definitely has some green up there. I want to take this down just a little bit. Got some green, regular green, and just going to meld it in there. And this white really isn't as large. I'm going to pick up coral and white together and come just get a little bit closer in that eye. Same way up here. He's going to be right, right in here. It's probably too bright wipe that out and just I just don't want a hard harsh I don't want a harsh um, line I want that to kind of blend in there there we go so I have a little bit of a harsh line there I'm gonna pick up my water dab it see if we can soften that up there we go there we go and then just bring that color down in here We're going to switch to a bigger brush right now. So about like right in here is when this green is going to start. Clean in this brush. I'm not sure what I even have on there. Right now I just have straight water. I'm going to soften those edges up a little bit. going to start with the darkest green. Which should be the festive green if you're using the same paints that I am. We're going to come in here and start to paint his tummy down here. Right 
up in here. His wing is right in here. all the way down to the wire. And again, this is just the underpaint. First layer. And then he's got a little bit more color, I think. He's going to be dark. I'm going to mix Payne's gray and a little bit of the green together. And just right in here, he's pretty dark. Right down in here, he's just dark. It's going to be dark right down in here as well. Again, it's just that green and Payne's gray. And then I'm going to pick up straight green right in here. I am using the photo as my reference point. You can do the same. Yours might be better than mine. I am going to pick up straight. Um, I want to. I want a tiny bit of green with that. And we're going to paint this dark feather down here because it's. He is pretty dark. If I underpaint it with the dark green, he might get a little bit darker in there. And he's really dark right in here. All the way down. At the very tippy tip, right there, there is a pop of this blue. I just, I'm amazed at the colors in this birds. So that's going to be this big one right there. I'm going to put that blue in there. All right. Let's see. I might switch to a number four. Do you have a four? I do not. Thought I did. I do. Yep, that's a two. I want something bigger than the zero, but smaller than the eight. Alright, I know I have a four here. Here he is. Okay, so I'm going to switch to number four, which is this little brush right here. We used that last week. And we're going to work. We're going to work on these feathers. I'm going to come in here first. And with the darkest green, we're just going to finish some underpainting here. And this is the underpaint, and I'm going to come back and blend some other colors in there.
lost that feather a little bit in there, but we're going to make these pop. And we're going to do that by picking up the sour apple. And I'm going to come right along here and just push up with that brush. just gonna pull right up just like that don't know if you can see that let me go on top of it with a lighter color all right now I'm gonna take the dark green and the zero and I'm gonna go right between these feathers. See that? And I need to bring that all the way around here. There we go. I am going to pick up a little Payne's Gray on my zero. I'm going to blend it with whatever paint I have on there. I may pick up a little bit. Again, I want it dark. And I'm just going to right underneath there, just scrub that in. dark right in there and then it comes down all right now a couple things while I have the paints gray here there is a very dark spot right over here on this guy on this shoulder right here clearly it might be little heavy. I'm going to take some water, kind of get some of that out of there. All I did was, there we go, so it's not so heavy. All right. There's a smaller one right over here. Again, it's so easy to get so too much paint on there, but if we do, we know we can take it off, and it's going to go right here. Wipe the paint off my brush, pick up some water, and just blend that through. Now, he has a little bit more dark down in here. And I know down in here as well. I think that's pretty good. right in here with <coughs> sorry about that with a little bit of dark just put the paint on wipe it off and then just work with what you have in here and I think this is pretty good down in here but I want it dark right up in there wiping the paint off and then just scrubbing in what's already there. Now, if I want to, let's see, what else does he have here? I think I just want him to pop a little bit more in there. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the sour apple and the and just I want these wings to pop in here just a little bit more right there okay and 
and then I'm just going to have some fun with some color. He needs some different color in here. He's got some brights. Picking up the sour apple. Scrubbing some of that in. I'm going to pick up the green tea. Scrub some of that in. Need to go up in there a little bit. Not going to clean my brush. Just going to bring this down just a little bit more. Wipe off my brush. Pick up some white. Still in that down just a little bit, but I'm going to go back in and make that just kind of pop in there. Let's get his beak on. Sorry, this beak. We're going to start with the layer of yellow. I think what we're going to do is, um, this video is going to be pretty long, I think we'll get the first layers of these two done and then we'll come back next week and finish the rest. Because they have a lot of work. Alright, I'm going to pick up a little white and I'm going to go into that yellow and blend that in right in here. I'm going to pick up the coral and just just add some highlights in there. bit of yellow in there. All right, let's go ahead and finish this last little guy. I think these are looking pretty, pretty good. All right, I'm going to start with, again, this face up here. We've already painted in his eye and uh, so let's actually start with our beak. We're going to go in with the zero and going to go into our yellow and let's get his beak on there. I'm going to pick up just a tiny bit of the coral blush and wipe some of that off. Kind of shade this in here a little bit. Now, Looking at this picture, there's a pretty big white spot there. We'll get that a little bit later. And I'm going to switch to my number eight. Actually, I'm going to switch to my number four, which is just a little bit smaller. Pick up the coral. And we're going to start at the top of the head, right in here. Go right up against that sky, around his eye. We'll 
come back and darken some of that in in just a minute. But we'll get this first layer down. And let's get that round eye in there as much as possible. Looks like I got a little close there, but I'll come back and fix that. All right, I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of the sour apple, which is that bright green right there. Picked a little bit up. There's not a lot of my brush. I am going to just dab it off a little bit because I don't want a lot of paint here. But I just want a little bit of green in there. Wiping off my brush. And we're just putting some color in there. And I may even pick up a little bit of the Payne's Gray. <laughs> Again, I I can always go back and put more on. I am wiping some of that off. Yeah, because it's pretty strong. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the green with it. Wipe some of it off. And come in here and pick up some coral and just begin to kind of blend that in. back into the coral here. Picking up a tiny, tiny bit of yellow. Laying that in there, wiping off my brush. may pick up a tiny bit of white, wiping it off on my napkin because, again, I don't want too much. I'm just going to do a little light spot right in there. And now we're going to just wipe off the brush on my napkin. And now I'm going to start to go into the darker green, which is the Fiesta green, and start to paint. We'll come in, we want to get right up into that coral. Don't want a line there. And we'll highlight and do all that stuff after we get this underpainting done. Now, I'm kind of following right along this wing. I'm staying away from that a little bit right now. And just going underneath that wing. These guys have been very fun to paint. And I love, love, love watching them. Just going to go right on top of that. And I see where I'm probably going to have to come back right in here and fill some blue in there. Just now catching that as I'm painting. All right, so now I'm going to pick up some of the sour apple. And I'm going to go right up underneath this wing and lighten that up. Whoops, a little bit. Pick up a little bit of white. And 
and lay right on top of that. Not cleaning my brush, just going into a tiny bit of the Payne's Gray. Again, I am going to wipe that off. And if you look at the picture, we have a nice starts up here and comes all the way down. And there's quite a bit of shadow right in here. And there's a little bit of shadow right down here as well. You can see it does not take a whole lot of paint. Wiping off my brush a little bit more and just working with that paint that I have on my brush. Right around that leg. I may switch to a smaller brush just so I can get a nice spine line, but not a lot of paint. And we'll go right up in here. There we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And we'll take and blend some of this out. And how I do that is I go into my water, dab it on my napkin. It's amazing the water this can hold and just softening that up a little bit wiping my brush off and just softening that I'm going to pick up some of my best of green and just right on top of that. There we go. Green tea, which is my lightest of the greens, going to come right up here. And again, I'm going to go right underneath here. Put a little water. Let's just soften this a little bit. That's a little harsh in there. Almost like I'm lifting that paint. A little water, dab it on my napkin, and lift some of that. Soften it in there. All right, let's do a little shadowing. Still working with my wand. And listen, just picking up a tiny, tiny bit of that paint, wiping it off. And we're going to go right underneath this wing. My philosophy is I can always go back and get more paint. It's harder sometimes to take all the extra paint off. I'm going to go right underneath there. And this top wing back here is pretty dark. And it actually goes to a pretty good point there. And this is all dark. So this is the wing we just painted. This little feather has, I see a little bit of coral in there. So I am going to lay that right down in here. Probably even up a little bit underneath there. I'm going to go in there with, uh, let's see, let's start with the lighter green. 
and just go right in here, right up against it. Pick up a little bit of sour apple as I go. Again, this is pretty pointed in there as well. Probably needs to be a little bit more pointed on here. This paint's great. It's pretty pointed. Oh, there we go. Just made him a little bit more pointed there. While I have a little bit of that paint's gray, right up here at the top of his wing is pretty dark. It almost looks like a Nike, upside down Nike swoosh. Oops. Let's make sure I get that in there. Just right in there. Now I also see some coral again working on this wing. It's got some of that color in there. I'm just going to lay that in there. Wiping out my brush. And let's start with that sour apple. I think we'll just, there we go. And just laying that in there. Wiping out my brush, I'm going to go into the lighter green tea. Come right up in here. Got to go right on top of that coral. Wiping off my brush a little bit. Going to pick up some of the darker green. Some sour apple right in here. to be quite pointed right there. There we go. Just going right on top of that coral. Blended it in there with the colors. Now right along here I'm just going to Add a little bit more of that dark right down in there. Just wipe it off my brush, dip it in, in the water here. All right. I want to pick up a tiny bit. And right in here, I just want 
to soften this a little bit in there. There we go. All right, a little white spot right here. Couple things. Look at it, this guy. He needs right in here. leg, that chunky little leg right in there. This one over here you really can't see very well. So I am going to take it down. I don't want to see this at all in there. Just the way he's on that wire is a little bit weird. going to throw some highlights up here in this wing. Like that. This I'm not real happy with. So let's kind of uh, smooth this out a little bit. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to come down here with this little coral. I'm going to pop some yellow in there. And just give it a little bit more color. Blend this down. Soften it up. Pop of color of white right here on the top of this beak, right there. And I literally am just laying that paint right in there. Because that's what I see. And I'm going to fix my little oops right here. Of the ring. And I am going to go in and make his eye just a little bit bigger. And I'm probably, I think I might even do that right here as well. See if I can, see if I can just do that with the other end of my brush here. Can you see this? Yep. And I can always go back and put some more white in there. This one, again, we don't see a lot of white. Here, and really the same way here. Pretty good size eyes. This about dry. There we go. Did a better job on that one. Sometimes we have to take a step back from our painting just to see changes we need to make maybe. A lot of times we sit right on top of these eyes or <laughs> of your painting, sorry, it's focused on the eye. We sit right on top of them and we're like, 
oh my gosh, these guys look horrible. And then you step away and look from a distance and you go, holy cow, they're pretty cool. Let's round out this eye a little bit. He looks a little triangled there. Yeah, it's a little bit better. So let's go ahead and we're going to work on this wire down here. I'm going to work with, I do believe, my smaller brush here. Yep, I'm going to do my number four. Otherwise, we'll still be here all day. All right. And I'm just going to go and put my first layer with straight um, Payne's Gray. Straight Payne's Gray. And get as close to that blue as possible, to that sky. Right up against that bird. Going into my water a little bit just to kind of keep this nice and creamy. to be a little bit wider in there. We're going to go all the way across here. Going into your water as you need to. It's amazing what a little bit of water will do to help move that paint. Here in Arizona, paint dries really, really quick. We've got that on there. Now wiping out my brush. Actually, I'll just use my zero here. Let me get that clean. Again, just dipping into my water and then wiping off on the napkin. Swishing it around in there does not get that brush clean. And I need a little bit of my sky blue. I think I'll just put a little eclipso. We'll start with the clip save. It may need to be a little bit darker, but we're going to just start with a little bit of blue. Now, you may not have to do this. You may have already caught it. Well, we're going to pick up some white with it. So that's going to be too dark underneath there. It's not going to look right. We'll get right up against there. There we go. And while I'm here, I'll just clean up those edges a little bit. Again, that's the Calypso blue and some white. I'm going to clean up right around these talons here. right in 
here. And anywhere that I want to clean up. Now, whatever blue that you used in this area, that's the blue that you're going to use. So if it's a little bit darker in there, you want to lose that. Use that. All right, we're really close here. Couple things we probably, oh, the blue turquoise is what we're using on the blue on the bird. And I think it's actually right in here. His feathers actually go right down in here. I'm adding some blue turquoise right in there. Just adding another feather right in there, right on top. And I'm going to take a little bit of white because I really want this to pop in here. Okay. What else do I see? I need to fix while I'm here. Small brush. I just want to come right, get really close in here. Sometimes we don't want to get right on top or too close to something, but it's okay to do that. And that looks pretty good. All right, so here we go. I am going to take a little bit of white, a little bit of the Payne's gray, and I just want a lighter color here. And so they're actually sitting on a wire here, and we're just going to come right across here. And make it look like this wire. You want to keep it moist. I'm going to come back and clean his foot up there. We're just going to do that all the way across. Really should be a little bit more slanted, probably. But the angle I'm painting here is a little challenging. All right, wiping out my brush, still got number one, or my zero here, just going to come right along here and throw a little bit of highlight right on here, wiping my brush out, picking up a little of the Payne's Gray, wiping that out, and I don't want to lose this talent in here, but I'm going to come in here with just some really straight dark Blend that one in on that side. It's 
So what I'm essentially doing is highlighting one side of his toe. Um, so he's got three colors on there. So he's got his white, his mid-tone gray, and then the dark. And same thing over here, which is going to highlight those insides light. When it gets dry, go to your water. That one came out kind of fat. dark in here. I'm going to just gray that up a little bit right there. Biggest thing you need to do at this point is take a step back, see if there's anything that you want to change. I do see something. One little quick, just want this to be a little bit darker in there. And right underneath here. All right. Oh, and one other shadow place. And that's going to be right underneath here, under this beak right up in there. Again, not a lot of paint. Lay the paint on, wipe it off, and then just soften the edges. All right. Don't forget to sign your painting. I look forward to seeing you again on another masterpiece in progress. Thanks and have a great day.